This is part 1. Here I show you how I rig the book cover. I create a plane and give it a rectangular shape similar to a cover. I duplicate it, shift D and join the vertices with F. I put a red color to the material to see it better. I use the solidify modifier and increase the size. I select the face orientation to see if the normals are right. I select and bevel the edges with Ctrl B. This will be our book. I insert an armature, and make the axis visible. I align the axis of the armature with those of the world space, this is to make everything easier to animate. I rotate 90 degrees the bone on its X axis. The book is oriented in the wrong direction and I rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. Make sure to apply the rotation with Ctrl A. I align the bone to the cover. I go to visibility and put it up in front, I take and extrude the side and top cover bone. Press E to extrude. Now I rename everything. I have to parent the armature to the mesh. First I select the book cover and then the armature. I press Ctrl P and I parent with empty groups. If you go now on object data properties you find the corresponding names of the armature. In edit mode I select the first one, the front cover and assign this armature to these vertices. Just enable vertex group weight in the overlays menu, to see the influence of the armature. Red means that it is 100% active. Let's do the same with the others. I go to pose mode, with control tab, or in the top menu. I rotate the X axis, and, it works. Of course it works. Select Euler rotation and let's lock the other Y and Z axis. I want to create a mechanism by moving only one bone, so I can open the whole book. I need to create another bone, it will be a control bone. Go into edit mode and duplicate this bone. And rename it. Scale down the new bone, so it is easier to see. I want to copy the rotation of this one onto the other one. In pose mode, holding shift, select first the controller bone, the bone you will actually move, and then the target bone, that will follow the controller, and press shift ctrl c and give it constraint transform. Constraint rotation works too. Here it changes the position, but I need to change just the orientation of the owner and the target from world space to local space. Also remove the deformation, because this is a controller. I do the same with the second one. The second one behaves in the same way and if both are active now I can open everything. Now I create a root bone, that will move the book. I create a new one and rename it. Now I need to parent these to the root bone. I select the top bone and I parent it with the side bone, and the side with the bottom keeping the offset. Then we select the whole thing and put it with the root bone, and then the control bone with root bone. We separate these mechanisms on a different layer. We select these and pressing M, move everything to another layer. In this way it is easier to see everything. This was part 1. In the next part I will show you how to rig the inside pages.